Tyler Stallgate three pulls with the scratching. They sent on their way from the 1400 meter marker. Queen Diva is the first one to go. Ara Blanco. Roya second overcomes the draw. Time to think is back in fourth position. Then Oriental Oak. White Roses along the inside. They'll follow it further back in the field by Lungi. Elusive Illusion. Joy to Joy is about nine or ten lengths off the leader. And then comes Victory Cross. They go past the thousand meter marker. And the leader is Roya second. Time to think is second. Queen Diva's back in third. The favourite, Ara Blanco's in that fourth place. That's the grey alongside of that one as White Rose. Oriental Oaks giving them about five, six lengths start racing green. Then Lungi, Joy to Joy's got about seven or eight lengths to make up. Then Victory Cross. Now they're turning to the home stretch. And the leader is Roy is second. Queen Diva, time to think. Ara Blanco's coming around them. Now it's getting the shake up. Down the inside of that is White Rose. Then Oriental Oak and Lungi. Getting to the 400. Roy is second's the leader. Time to think a second. Ara Blanco's under big pressure. And Joy to Joy's running on. Queen Diva down the inside. Coming to the last 200 meters. Joy to Joy runs on powerfully now. On the outside, Oriental Oak. White Rose gets into the race as well. And time to think. On the outside, Oriental Oaks coming to get them all though. And it's Oriental Oak to win it. The second position will probably go to Joy to Joy and then White Rose Oroblanca ran on late. So your winner, number five, Oriental Oak, the Silvano. And comes Goodyear, number five, on the toe. 26 rand a win, Oriental Oak. Gets up to win by about a length and a half or so. The second position is going to go to number three, Joy to Joy. Third placing will go to the horse on the inside, White Rose. And Ora Blanco came under early pressure, obviously going to prefer more ground, then time to think. Queen Diva is further back in the run. And then came further back in the field, Roya second and Lungi. We'll take a look at that head on shortly. The winner pays up 26 rand the win. That's number five, Oriental Oak. So Ora Blanco's three off the right under early pressure as they turn foam. Joy to Joy moved up, but Oriental Oak comes on powerfully with the red cap on the right hand side. Queen Diva, Roya second, time to think, and White Rose. But the winner is number five, Oriental Oak. And Cotton also saddled 11 White Rose which will take the third position. Toad favourite number six until the third race, back to the studio. Just see number five, Oriental Oak, rise to the occasion. Daughter of Silvano from the Glen Cotson stable out of the Fort Woodmere. Quickwood come with a sterling late effort. Result five three eleven six. We've seen the well-bred daughter of Silvana, Oriental Oak, turn it on inside the last 300 meters. Let's get Glenn Cotson into the picture here. She's a horse who went down to the post first time looking very green. Well, yeah, I mean, I couldn't believe how green she was on the bend. I was having a good chuckle, said, geez, you know, because uh, I gave um, uh, the jock the, the, the choice of which one he wanted to ride. He said, definitely this filly, but um, uh, she, she was really green, but she won a super race, and she's uh, an awesome little filly, and uh, she hasn't been tuned up. Um, but uh, very, very well done to um, Colin and Sylvia. Um, I really appreciate the support. Uh, she's a beautifully bred filly, and I think we'd have lots of fun with her. And I think that the stable companion ran an absolute blinder first time out. Really well done. Of your runners to come, anything that's worth throwing in? Um, I think you've got to look at uh, um, 
uh, yellow submarine. You know, he's got to go in. Uh, you know, he won a very good race the other day, and uh, he's just been waiting for a draw, and uh, he's now eventually cracked one. So hopefully he'll run a super race. Before you leave us, there's a three-month subscription from the Daily News. Well done. Thanks very much to Glenn Kotzen. Let's get Stuart Randolph into the picture. We're going to have a chat. Now, first time out, you rode her, and she seems like she's improved leaps and bounds. Yeah, she's in, obviously the first run there, they're running a bit green, and you know, she's improved nicely after that first run of the belt. Coming to the 300, you started to warm up? I was warming up going through about the 1200. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she didn't travel with me, I had to chase her most of the way, but um, thank goodness she responded, and when I switched out away from horses, it was as if the penny dropped, and then she, she kicked down nicely. Just looking at the play of the day, the horses seem to be quickening up. So, Mumbo Mom, you seem to come to form on the big race days. I hope so, just uh, provided the speed is on up front. You know, that's the main factor. Um, if they're going running up quick, we can quicken up off them. But if they end up uh, making a you know, canter sprint of the race, it won't suit us. But anyway, we've, we've got to overcome from our draw and see how it goes. First time going the 10 furlong, but hopefully little things can work out. Congratulations. Thanks very much, and thanks to Glenn and the owners. And uh, no, thanks for the opportunity. Well done. David Allen's going to come through and have a chat on behalf of Colin Bird and the daughter of Silvano. Now, that was a breathtaking finish from her. Well, it certainly was. She got it together in the straight because she ran very, very green early on. She was nicely ridden and held together because she really didn't know what she was doing. And then all of a sudden the penny dropped and bang, lovely run. Very nice indeed. It's all there in the pedigree. It certainly is, but it was well bought by Colin and, and by Glenn. Um, that particular filly. It's a, it's a small family that I have some experience of. I mean, they are all physically small. Um, and she's definitely got the heart. So it was a very nice win and very nice to be representing Colin here today because he is a very strong supporter um, of racing in South Africa. He also races in England. Um, and together we're about to announce his new stallion standing in the Cape, um, a horse called Fencing Master. So this is a bit of a preview. The announcements are, are, are next week. But Lovely. So fencing master, he's about to be out. Yes, he is. Yes, he's the son of Oratorio. He was a very nearly champion two-year-old in the UK. Um, and he's about to be uh, publicized, shall we say. Thanks very much for that feedback and enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Thank you. Well done to the connections. We've seen number five, Oriental Oak, come through and take the winner's check.